Hello everyone, welcome back to the quick one too. Y'all, I didn't got up because why? I'm hungry and I don't wash my hand, did everything I need to do. And so now y'all, I'm in the mood to cook some. We're gonna make some goosey soup, right? We got the let me tell y'all what you need. I already got my meat soaking, y'all. And vinegar and lemon juice. Can you meat? Literally. <laughs> you don't need some crawfish. If you don't have any crawfish, go to the African store to get this. Dry crawfish, or I'm going to show y'all, y'all can get some powdered shrimp sauce. Y'all see that? That dry crawfish. Uh-huh. They're going to make all the difference in the flavor in your soup. Mm -hmm. Trust me when I tell you that. And this here. Also. That's the old mag. I put that right there. That's some fresh mag. Uh, this is the African Maggie cubes. Okay. It's your best friend. Hold on. And again, I told y'all my meat is already soaking in the solution. I got uh, chicken, legs, I got some turkey butts, and some gizzard for now. I may throw some shrimps over in here. Just, call it, I mean, just a quick one, too. And I got some spinach in the bag that I'm using. Just a quick one, too. And the goosey. Uh, I like to get the seeds that is not already crushed because that way you can go through them yourself and kind of look and make sure ain't nothing in them. Uh, some red palm oil, onion, bell pepper, all your regular, but I'm finna cheat today. Don't judge me, I'm finna cheat. Yes, I am. I'm gonna cheat. Uh-huh, we're gonna, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Uh... I got my onions and stuff in the blend the bag. Uh huh. And do. And do. I'm gonna finish using like, the rest of this, uh, that right there. And need some tomatoes. I, I feel like I need a drink though. I feel like before I get started, I need to fix myself a drink. Let's need some tomatoes. This right here. Uh, this onion is going to be for later on because we're going to fry this onion with this uh, a goose. I'm going to show you how y'all do it. Some people do it differently. This is just, and this is the American version. Y'all go ahead on. Go ahead on. I got my blended seasons. I got um, onion, celery, red, green, bell peppers, parsley. And this one here got onion, celery, red peppers, green pepper. Oh, well, well same thing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put some regular water in here. I know how to clean meat. Clean your meat. Clean your meat. Doo doo. Right? I like to go ahead and get my water seasoned and boiling and do season and boiling and y'all this ain't nothing it, everything is one pot when you're doing african cooking that's why it's so easy and that's why i like it and let me just tell y'all something all the base of their soup is the same one what, what i'm getting ready to show y'all this base of soup you can take this base of soup and make any of their soups i ain't lying same the same base Dead ass. Mm-hmm. Yep. Woo. Dead ass. Yep. And we're gonna bring down our regular seasons. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and take all this down that we're using today. Uh-huh. 
garlic and parsley. Uh, a little bit of garlic in this right here too. Uh, I got some, uh, hold up, y'all gotta get everything right, quick, quick, stop it. Oh, you gonna need some cayenne kind of pepper. Just a tag, cause why? I'm gonna wind up putting a pepper over in here. Now, y'all can put as many peppers as y'all want, y'all know. I'm not a heat girl like that. Mm -mm. No ma'am, no sir. I'm putting one. Uh-huh. Y'all, let me pour me a drink. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put up, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I packed up my kitchen, y'all. All my stuff packed up. All my glasses. I Cause I had every intention to move. That's why I'm limited with my cooking stuff. All my kitchen is really packed up in the front room. Cause I really was intending on moving. And I'm not going to unpack it. So that's motivation for me. Mm -hmm. To be uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Come over to my house. You almost got to bring your own cup. Cause everything is packed up. I left out one or two. Okay. I told y'all about this right here. It's gonna have to melt on his ice. I'm gonna pour me a pretty big glass, cause why? Cheers, Tess. And I told you my little neighbor had gave me some uh, tomato. This is my last little tomato I'm gonna use over in my soup too. Y'all, these were so, y'all, the flavor was so good and different. Now, you know what? I'm going to say that. I, I ain't going to cook with it. I'm going to save it and put it on my sandwich. Because why? I almost want to ask her for some more. When I tell y'all, I'm not a real tomato. I'm not, not going to say that. Y'all, I'm weird. I like tomatoes, but I don't necessarily like the inside of the tomato. All the gushiness. But with hers, it was good. I ate the whole tomato. I ain't lying. I ate the whole tomato. Y'all, as y'all see, I'm not cooking with any salt per se, but salt is in the seasoning. Uh, but you got to be careful when you're cooking with what? That smoke uh, meat, because what? It's salted. Mm -hmm. Got a little ginger. Y'all like to cook with a little ginger, but you got to be careful with that ginger too, because baby, it it takes over the pot sometimes. Mm -hmm. Y'all use all that. I got to refill my small jars back up with my big jar. Mm -hmm. Little garlic, little onion powder. You know, your regular honey, whatever you want to season your meat with. Do that. You know, we're going to put a little tab over in our life. But that's our business. I'm almost out of this one. I've been out the sun. I like that sunshine one too. Put a little cilantro. I put a little cilantro in everything. Don't judge me. I told y'all about trying to do that over here. This right here, garlic parsley. So I'm gonna put that back up because that that right there gets dangerous. Mm -hmm. And some black pepper. And some black pepper. Mm -hmm. And I like to start out with just adding two maggots over in the pot right off. I like this. I, I use this African maggot all the time. I don't know whether or not it's salty or not, but to me, it flavors, it, it's, to me, it's not salty at all. And it helps flavor your food, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Excuse me. I'm the only one eating it, so don't worry, sir. Don't worry yourself. It's a quick pot. A real quick pot. Let me show y'all how easy this is to make. I told y'all I like my stuff, my uh water be looking like mud water. I don't care what I'm cooking. Cause it's gonna be seasoned to what? To the gods. Mm-hmm. I told y'all this is the, the, the American way. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Don't y'all do it. Oh, back there. Don't y'all do it. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Got come. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, y'all, I'm going to chop this. This video is going to be chopped up, right? Like I said, I'm going to go through my meat, clean it real good. It ain't nothing major. Like I said, some people clean their meat, some people don't. I'm not judging. The restaurants don't. Yes. And whoop, you eat out all the time. So... I ain't judging over here, but I'm just saying this is what I do. And like I said, it's just a little mixture of uh, vinegar and uh, see, I have to get all that off my chicken leg. I, I'm, I'm not going to eat all that. Mm -mm. That ain't what we doing. Even though I probably wind up pulling all this right here going to come off the bone anyway. But still, I don't want to boil no in my pot because I gotta use that 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 seasoning. I gotta use that broth. We're gonna use some of that broth, right? When we get ready to uh, do, because I don't have any. Uh, and you don't have to. You can use the broth to show y'all. Some people do chicken stock. I don't have to do no chicken stock because I'm going to use that broth off of the what? That meat. It's even better than the store bought. You heard me. Get your life right. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You got to know something, know something. If not, Baby, these recipes have you at the stove spending all your money. Not over here. Not over here, baby. Not over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say, honey, y'all don't know about the turkey bus. I like a turkey butt. It got at first I was like, mm mm, but honey, it got a lot of meat in the turkey butt. And I like to go through my gizzards too. So a lot of times people, it be that little, whatever that little hard skin part on the gizzard that don't cook up right. And I can't stand biting into that. You're nasty. Do better. 
Oh, and don't judge me. I take the hard side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, ma'am, no, sir. I don't want none of that. I don't. You can have. I don't want none. Nope, I don't. That's it, that's all. And I go to pick off the little fat meat that hangs on to the gears or something. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. Y'all see that little part right there? Oh, they got to come off. They got to come off of there. Mm -hmm. It pulls right off. Mm-hmm. Some people leave it on. I don't know. Mm -mm. Not over here in this here house. That ain't what we're doing. That ain't what we're doing, boo-boo. That ain't what we're doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Quick rinse. Like I said, you soak your meat. Let it do its thing in the vinegar and um, what you call them water. Like I said, just honey, we don't know where the meat then, where it came from, and all that. Yeah, there's only two hearts in that package, and some people eat them. I, mm -mm, not me. I told you. <laughs> Don't y'all talk about me. I told y'all I'm a little weird. Don't y'all talk about me. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all. And basically, you put your meat over in there and let it boil. Let it steam boil, whatever. You know? Let it do its thing right quick. Uh-huh. Yes, honey. And we'll taste that in a minute. Make sure it's blended properly. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of these right here because what? Honey, they didn't about seen they better days. And y'all know, we were like, what? That didn't go to waste over here. Not in time, just word. And that ain't what we do. Uh. That ain't what we do. Uh. Uh uh, we gonna use, it. we gonna use it. Mm-hmm. We gonna use this green onion, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. Clean it up, chop it off. Just me, y'all. I ain't got no uh uh. I ain't uh uh. Times is hard out here, baby. We gonna make it do what it do, do, do. Mm -hmm. That's it. Put the seasoning over in there. Like I said, I cheated a little bit because why? I didn't do a whole lot of chopping up. I just used what was in the bag. Same thing. Like I tell them all the time, baby. It ain't the the ingredients, baby, is to cook. It ain't the ingredients, baby, is to cook. Come on, somebody. If you know, you better act like you know something. Mm -hmm. That's it. Y'all, I'll be back. Well, you know what? I don't know if y'all want to stay on here with me because why? Y'all say y'all want to see how I do, child. I guess we'll roll with it, rock with it, roll with it. Because my next thing I'm getting ready to do. Right. Let me wash this up right quick. What well, we ain't going to do is have a whole lot of... Mm -hmm. That ain't what we're doing over here. And I like to blanch my... Broccoli, not broccoli. I thought about putting some broccoli over in here, but I was like, let me not, let me not mess up this soup. 
Look, I don't know, I ain't even seen nobody put no broccoli over in here. I got a whole lot of broccoli. My brother-in-law gave me the hookup. Don't be mad at me, my brother-in-law better than y'all. Hmm? And if you don't know what the hookup is, y'all better go ask somebody. Okay. Call me whenever, whenever else something comes through. Mm -hmm. Hard out here. Call me back with the broccoli, with the, with the broccoli hook up. Who? Yeah, I told you one time. Yep. And then it went and popped right on up and went over there and got it that morning when I got off work. Yeah, I wash my little few dishes up the baby. I can't have me in a dirty kitchen. That ain't what we do. Just so I had a piece of corn earlier. I have filmed it, but I took it down because I didn't feel like it was video worthy of you guys. But when I tell you I was literally just sitting there eating a piece of corn. I was like, hell, I don't even want to wash that. <laughs> That, that's why I say her a lot of times, huh? Some people, I don't know. Some people post every time. I just, I don't know. I ain't there yet. One one chick I saw, she said, babe, I post everything. And I'm like, I don't know. I ain't there yet. Y'all post every little thing? I don't. I just don't. Mm -hmm. I just don't. And I saved my little container right here because I'm going to put my, uh, what's the card over in that? My, uh, my poo poo when I open it up. Because I bought a little bit of bag. Just baby. Uh, the specimen that I was married to was not lying. That poo poo is expensive. And I'm gonna go ahead on and invest in a big bag, but I didn't want to pay thirty-five dollars. Mm. Get your life, y'all. I'm getting ready to blend that. I'm going to blend it and set it aside, and I'm gonna just use my little hand mixer. Uh, I'm just gonna use a little hand mixer. That's it. Blend it and set it aside. And this little company right here, they usually pretty clean. But I still like to be looking at them as I go through them. Uh, like I said, because you're a fine little. And that one right there was just a little old, old looking one. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, a fine little something that is not a seed. Let me pull these out on something. I'll just take them and pull them out on something like this. And kind of, because baby, this stuff is coming from where? Africa. And like I said, baby, you don't know where it's been. Like I said, some of it is old seed, some of it is burnt. Some, you know what I'm saying, y'all, yep. Y'all do you. I'm just telling you what I do and why I don't get the ground. Because you can buy it already grounded up. You can. I just like this way better. Because why? I get to, I get to go through it. Because like I said, I don't know what that is right there. It could be just a piece of a burnt, dried out piece of whatever. But that's just me. I want to make sure everything I'm grinding is a pumpkin seed. Mm? Everything we finna grind is gonna be a pumpkin seed.
That's it. That's all. It, it ain't personal. It's this business. It's my preference. Now, you can do yours any kind of way you want to. I, I, I ain't trusting nobody like that. Mm. We're going we to we we take but a second to sift through it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't that serious, but it is that serious. Mm. Again, these are ship, shipped products. Mm -hmm. Like I said, a lot of this stuff I'm picking out, it is pumpkin seeds, but they, they look over dried or like that. Like that one is a pumpkin seed. It actually is, but I don't, it, it ain't going in my stuff. It's too dark. I don't like the way it looks. That's me. You do yours how you want to do yours. <laughs> that's it. That's our last call for alcohol. We ain't judging over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. And we're going to set it on the ground. And I'm just going to pour it over in this cup. And this is pretty much what it looks like. Like grinded peanut. Let me pour it out on this here thing so y'all can see it. I may grind a little bit more. I may not. Hold up. Let me see. This might be enough. That's what it looks like. Like I said, a lot of a lot of African cooking is just prep work. Mm-hmm.
And I'm just pouring over into this cup. And I feel this dough. I'm gonna grind a little bit more. Okay, so a little bit of this left. Okay, and let's put this over here. Like I said, we're going to wind up using. A little bit of the chicken broth laid on for this right here. Mm -hmm. Like I told y'all, we're not gonna have a whole lot of dishes, that's why. We can as we go. That's just me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right back up. And put it back in its place. Nobody over here doing dishes but me. And when I get through and want to sit down, I ain't got time to be having to sit up in this kitchen and do this and do that all night. Uh -uh. I'm going to sit down I want to eat something. And I just got a taste for this. Like I said, the longest part, like I said, I'm going to let y'all go and come back. But what I'm going to also show y'all is what I got to also, there's another step I got to pour, pour over in this pot to let it actually cook. And that is the uh, tomato part. I didn't get a red uh I didn't get a red uh, what do you call it? bell pepper, and I should have, but it's okay. If you ain't got to have it, that's just something that they do. Again, like I said, y'all, we're using what we got. Uh huh. We're gonna do a little tomato paste and uh.
Okay. So, actually, y'all, we're getting ready to, the Africans put a whole lot of stuff in the blender. So, I'm going to follow suit with the, with the tomatoes and stuff. And I know people are going to be like, oh, them ain't the right tomatoes to cook with. Well, it's the ones I got up in here, and it's the ones I'm cooking with tonight. Mm, okay. Mind your business. I told y'all about trying to judge me over here. Don't y'all do it. Get you two, three tomatoes. Right? Now, I'm not going to lie, this is where I'm cheating at, because why? A whole lot of the African people, they blanch their food. Like, they would throw these tomatoes and stuff over into the pot and let it get soft or whatever. I ain't doing all that. We going to let this blender do its job. Amen. Y'all, somebody cat is at my house. I don't know why. So we roughly chop those two tomatoes. Right? I'm going to put the rest of the seasoning blend over in here. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to add a little bit more. This is just preparation for what I got to pour over in the, in the pot to cook with. And we're going to add some, uh, we put, we put, we putting all this in the blender. And we're going to add some real purple onion to this. Mm -hmm. About that much, just because. Even though onion is already over in it, that's not, y'all, this just me. I love me a purple onion. Now, y'all can do y'all any kind of way you want. This is just what's going down over here in Tonja's world. And again, I tell y'all, they blanch a lot of their food. And I'm going to do a small little can of tomato paste. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm just getting this ready. I'm going to let that meat cook a little bit more first because I got to take certain pieces out. It's going to get done before other pieces. Like that chicken, it's going to go ahead and come out in a little bit. Because again, I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating over here, y'all. I didn't put a can of tomato paste over here. It's a little small one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna add a little water to the base. Mm-hmm. To the base. Set it back on now. Now, this is optional. I'm going to go ahead and add a little Maggie and stuff to mine because I just like stuff to be seasoned, y'all. This just me. I,
And I told y'all, I'm gonna add some shrimp powder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And all this going over in the blender, y'all. We're going to add what? Some crawfish. Now, this crawfish, y'all, you have to be, y'all, when I first started trying to cook with this right here, I was throwing away everything. Until my ex-husband was like, because you, honey, they be, you have to really look through this stuff. Because, honey, it don't, it don't be what it's supposed to be. <laughs> It be a lot of trash up in this in this dry crawfish. I ain't gonna even lie. Mm hmm So all of that is in this blender. Let's get it. And again, like I said, this is just preparation because this chicken's gonna cook down. This, this, this chicken and turkey and stuff over this thing is gonna cook down a minute. Right? Before I combine it all together to finish cooking. Mm -hmm. Somebody, like I said, a lot of this is just preparation. And I like to give it a rough chop first. So I ain't got one of million dollars. And so that's what it looks like. And everything is blended. Right? And we're going we're gonna to put a little bit more of this again in the end. You know, we're going to grind a little bit more. And I'm going to grind it in my grinder and put a little bit more uh, over in there close to the end. Amen? But y'all, that's about it for now. Like I said... Once this meat, uh, like I said, this meat got to cook, right? And again, it's the gizzards. Uh, it's just, honey, it is just doing its thing. It ain't, ain't nothing major. It's just the pot, right? Doing its thing, letting us do its thing, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope I'm doing a pretty good job. You know, get your different meats over in here. And the Africans don't use this much water. This is just me, because I like my meat, what? Soft. If y'all watch them Africans, the majority of them, I ain't throwing no shade, including my ex-husband, they like a tough piece of meat. Mm -mm. That ain't what we're doing over here. That ain't what we're doing over here. Mm -hmm. My drink should be about right. Let that, that, that soak down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And y'all, so basically what I'm going to do, once this meat cooked down, I'm going to cut this off and now I come back. So basically once, once this meat cooked down a little bit, I'm going to come back and take some of that broth off of it and pour this over and let it simmer and cook together. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this over in here. Over in here, I'm not gonna blend it, but I'm gonna throw it over in here now so it'll already be in there. Cause I don't like to, I can't bust it open cause baby, I won't be able to eat it. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Hey y'all, I'm back. Y'all, I went ahead and cut some shrimp up. Just to, I'm like, let me not cheat myself, okay? 
And y'all, I, I went ahead and flash blanch these these uh, spinach out the bag. It's just two big bags of spinach, right? And I like to run hot water because spinach hold water. So I like to let them sit over in that hot water and rinse them off a couple of times because honey, I had enough of dye on it to dye some yeast in it. Oh, okay, you heard me. Anyway, moving on. And y'all, so what I did was this right here, was this, right? I told y'all, when you cook all that meat together, you have to still take something like this is the chicken legs that I took out. Because why that chicken will cook away. Them turkey butts and those uh, gizzards going to have to cook a while. So I'll add the shrimp and these this chicken leg back to it a little bit later. I told y'all, baby, this cooking this African suit, you got to have patience. But this is where uh, now I'm going to come back because it's been boiling for a minute. And go ahead and add the... Uh... Ooh, here yeah, I see me. Woo! Get right. That's why I need a production man. Production. Uh, right. So you know it's still boiling, right? So we just go ahead and add our tomato paste to it, cause like I said, baby. Uh, this African soup gotta cook, right? That's it. Let us do its thing. Let it do its thing. And don't worry. I know some like, oh, it looks like a lot of water. But you see these potato, you see these uh, uh, turkey butts? They hard as hockey sticks. They got to cook, baby. They got to cook. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. And these gizzards got to cook too, but I'll pull them out a little bit later. But them turkey butts, baby, as you see, they still uh, fully hold. Mm -hmm. That's why I like really myself using the turkey legs. It's easier because you can kind of go ahead and pull them apart and do what you got to do. But I found them on sale. I was saving my, I got some turkey legs, but I'm saving them for my uh, turnip greens. Because I, I got the turnip greens too, y'all. I told y'all, we, we cooking something. We gonna be cooking something. So y'all, that's just that next little step. And just like I told y'all, everything I told y'all with this African cooking, honey, you got to have what? Time. And ain't just no, no skipping and hopping and you done. Y'all heard me. Ain't no skipping and hopping is done. Mm -mm. You gotta have time and honey, it's made with love and patience. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's made with love and patience, y'all. So y'all just want to come back on and show y'all that next little step. Like I said, I ain't going to hold y'all up. Uh, I'm going to come back with the next step in a minute. Because like I said, them turkey butts got to be able to cook and fall apart. Oh, I'm satisfied with them. Because, baby, when I get ready to, to, to do this fufu and carry on, because, baby, I'm holding this appetite. But I'm fitted. I'm finna tie something up when this get done. You hear me? I'm finna, I'm finna tie. I told y'all, baby, I watch as I go. I'm finna, I'm finna tie it up. But I'll be back in a minute. Well, when this meat's off and up. Couple hours. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm back. Check this out. Now that the soup has thickened up, and I'm finna show y'all how the water has thickened up and the broth is. Y'all, guess what I forgot to do, though? I'm jumping conversation. I told y'all I supposed to took some of that broth and mixed this this pumpkin seed with it. So in four, and I got some, but this pie's so seasoned, I, don't, I really don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to take some water and mix with it. But usually you would take some broth or you can take some um, some chicken broth and mix with it. But I'm just going to mix mine with water. It's it's all the same. It's seasoned. But let me take it out to the pot. So basically what I've done now, I took those chicken butts out and basically... Uh, Hold up. I basically uh, cut them up, right? So they can go ahead on and get tender. And let me show y'all what the pot is looking like now. Y'all see that pot? I told y'all don't worry, but it was going to thicken up. Y'all see that? Y'all see that, right? 
Mm-hmm. I told y'all don't worry, it was gonna thicken up. I'm also go ahead and what? I'm gonna go ahead and drop this chicken back over in here. That's it. Uh-huh. We're gonna put the chicken back over in there. That's it, that's all. Go ahead and do your thing. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Yeah, y'all work with me. I got one hand. Production. Mm-hmm. We're getting close, y'all. I told y'all. What we don't want to do is for what? Put that other uh, turkey back on. It's for uh our chicken to cook away. So we took part of the chicken out. All right, we're gonna let this marinate just for a second. And then, last but not least, um, last but not least, y'all, uh, I went ahead and I told you I let this blanch a little bit with some hot water and squeezed the best I could because why? Broccoli holds water, whether it's fresh or from the freezer. You wanna go ahead and blanch it a little bit so you take that water out of it. We're gonna go ahead and add these few shrimp over in here too, right? That's it. Because everybody know it don't take shrimp but a minute. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got chicken uh, over in here. We got turkey. We got uh gizzards and we got shrimp over in the pot don't y'all be mad don't y'all even be no kind of way i'm showing y'all the step oh yeah and one vital thing i forgot to show y'all but this all is solid i should have had it sitting on the uh sit, sit, sit on the stove the whole time so that the stove can heat this up because this is solid palm oil so, it ain't all the way loose, but it has gotten softer. Why well, I'll be able to squeeze, squeeze some out right when I get ready to use it. So, you want to sit it on the, the stove while you're cooking so it can liquefy. That's a little trick. Amen. So, we're going to go ahead and recover this. Right? And I forgot earlier... I did add some, add some, they be using raw garlic. I did the garlic out the, I know, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. So like I said, basically now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start working on what? The last part, because why? We're very close. So like I said, this part right here with the pumpkin seeds, I would normally take broth before I add the, um, before I add the tomato paste in it, but I forgot to. It's been a, a minute, but we're going to still make it do what it do. And I was thinking about, I got a can in here, but it ain't that serious. So I'm just going to take a little water. Take a little spoon. And we're going to make a paste. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a paste. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to do what it do. Mm -hmm. We want to make a paste out of this. That's it. That's all. You don't want it too soupy because you want to be able to scoop it in and let it fry and cook on top of these onions. So you want to make a little paste out of it. Right? Just like that. You want to make a little paste. It ain't crazy. Right? So it didn't make a sense to me to open up a can of Cause I got some chicken broth in there. Cause I told y'all, babe, I got everything I need in my house. I got some chicken broth in there in the can, but I'm like, I can just use a little water for just that. It didn't make no sense to me. Yeah, it's what my spirit told me. Yeah, I, I cook by the spirit. Y'all know me. So basically, you're gonna take your good old frying pan, right? Mm -hmm. At this point. Right, I'm gonna move this soup 
from that eye over to this here eye so I can get, use this big eye. Amen. Now you got to be ready to really, really go ahead and cook this right here. Right? I already shredded a whole, well, just about a whole, I, cooked, I cut a little bit of uh, that, that large, uh, it has to be a purple onion. Well, it has to be, but this is what they use, so that's what I got. And shred it up like that, right? And you're going to put your palm oil. That's kind of eyeball. Right? See, it did, it did, it did liquefy some, if y'all can see that. Y'all see that? Just set it on your stove. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, so you got to be ready because now what you don't want to happen is for uh, your palm oil to burn and you don't want uh, you don't want uh, Your onions to burn. Amen. You don't want that. Mix them up, let them saute for a second. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm Talking about the uh, the uh, what the kind of smell so good. Those onions and uh, what you call them, baby. Mm -hmm. Let me get my plate ready. <laughs> Let me get my plate ready. Hmm. Keep an eye on it, y'all, because, honey, that, uh, the onions and that right there get away from me.
now we're gonna go ahead and scoop our mixture on top of this right cut it down right because we want it to cook we want it to all cook together amen take like spoonfuls put it in like little little, little, little scoops right because you want it to fry almost like little lumps of uh I don't know, salmon balls almost at first. You want it to just fry on top of these onions. I'm gonna, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you. Give me a second. Give me a minute. Bring you over here so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this soup get everywhere. Hold on, bring it to the pot. See that? That's what it's gonna be looking like. Mm-hmm. And you wanna keep it whole like that. You're gonna flip it a couple times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and add our spinach to the pot. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Let me show y'all what it's looking like before I add the spinach. Come on back over here. Come on back over here to the pot. That's what the pot looking like. With everything in it. Come on. Y'all see that? What the pot looking like? Mm-hmm. That what we looking like? Uh-huh. That's it, that's all. We almost there. Somebody said we almost there. We started from the bottom and we almost there. Hey, hey. That's it. We're gonna go ahead and drop our spinach in there. Y'all know spinach don't, don't take long. Mm -hmm. Drop your spinach on over in there. Y'all, we pretty much there. Mm -hmm. We pretty much there. And it's crazy because no matter how you try to start out with a small pot, this African soup gonna do what it's do. That's why they feed so many people. I love it. Mm? You gonna be able to do what you do. I'm free some of this right here though. Y'all see me? Bring you back over here one more time. So, basically, it's what the pot looking like right now before we add the goosey to it. We're just going to let it simmer. Right? That's it. I'm getting ready to flip this a goosey over, but I need both. I need, I need both my hands. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Use my spatula. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we're gonna try our best to keep it what whole. We want it to fry and cook. Take it and flip it. Cook. 
Now, y'all, I believe in seasoning and levels. Now, I got to taste this because why? I don't want my stuff bland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Eh, 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 eh. Y'all, I did that. And then I, and then I, I ain't even put the goose over in it yet. Mm-hmm. I got that on medium. I'm going to turn it down on medium low because it done did this thing. Roll with it. Rock with it. Yes, honey. Mm-hmm. That's where we at. Y'all, we almost there. We almost there. We just waiting for, uh, I'm going to let that a goose. And see, a lot of people go ahead and put it on over and just let it cook in the pot. But I like to let mine fry a little bit first. Mm hmm Let it fry up a little bit first. We almost there. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to see what time it is. Because believe it or not, let me tell y'all something. I started this cooking at, at, at 2.30. I'm timing myself. I don't know what time it is right now. But I know a couple hours can pass. I do know this. Like I said, y'all, keep an eye on this right here. Uh-huh, because we don't want it to what? Stick. But we do want it to what? Fry. Mm Keep your eye on. I don't want it sticking to the pan. Mm -hmm. We almost there. Got to add no more palm oil or none of that. Now what I do, what I am going to do, uh, is add just a little bit more crawfish, just for flavor. Oh, I got the soap off my hand, first of all. Trust me when I tell you that. Before we do that, I'm gonna bring it back over here so y'all can see what it looking like. Y'all see that? Okay. And y'all, so we're gonna get a pot of stir, right? Make sure ain't nothing sticking. We got it on low. And y'all, we're not gonna mix this in right off. We're gonna let it sit on top. Hmm? We're gonna let it sit on top and simmer. Mm 
I'm gonna bring y'all back over here. Stop it. I know y'all want to see. <laughs> y'all see that? Yeah, hold on. Let me change y'all. Production. Put it back over on the big eye. Y'all see that? Let me cut it down. Mm -hmm. That's what it's looking like. But you want to let that simmer a little bit. Put the top on. It smells so good. It smells so good. Now what we got to get ready to do. We got to boil this water. So we got to cook some food for it. Mm. We can put all this seasoning up. So baby, she don't need nothing. Mm. Season to the God. Y'all, you got to season and layer. I keep telling you. crawfish too uh, that has already been kind of grounded down a little bit and I'm just gonna put a little bit more over in here put on, on the finishing end just for season just for seasoning If you know, then you know. And if you don't, you don't. That's all I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Just a few pinches. They give it a little, mm -hmm. give it a little umph. At the, at, at the end part. Mm-hmm. Not major, but somebody say just enough. Just a little, a few pinches of the grounded. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you know, then you know. And if you don't, you just don't. Now, I'm going to bring y'all back over here again. Because why? I want y'all to see what this pot is looking like before I stir it up. Because we want what? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Y'all see that? Right? Y'all see what it's looking like? Looking like cornbread or something, right? So you want that to the steam. Right? And now you want to mix it up. Mm -hmm. Now you're ready to mix it up. Mm -hmm. Now you're ready to mix it up, y'all. Mm-hmm. 
And this is officially your pot of a goosey soup. Mm -hmm. This is it, y'all. Um, I hope I have done a great job. I hope I've made uh, my African brothers and sisters proud. <laughs> Even though I took a few a few shortcuts, but y'all, the finished product is still the finished product. Quit playing with me. Don't play with me. Y'all. And I ain't gonna lie. My ex husband was like, oh, you can make that better than me. Because I'm a girl. Because mm -hmm. I'm a girl. And I could. And I can. Mm -hmm. And I can. Y'all. So now what? You mix it up. It mixed all up, and we're gonna let it simmer for a minute. I'm gonna bring y'all back for a finish shot. Meanwhile, we're gonna finish washing these dishes up. Cause I know I already told y'all. I'm getting my containers ready for when I pour it over in. Right? Uh-huh. Cause um they need the soup out. Let it cool down. I'm going to freeze some of it. But when I want it again, the only thing I got to do is pull it out. Mm -hmm. The only thing I got to do is pull it out. But what I got to do now is get my pot ready to get this, this water boiling for this cook cook. Making poo poo, y'all. Uh, I ain't come to play today. Y'all better try to ask somebody about me. I can make it do what it do. I'm a, I'm a master dump dump that 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 African uh, dumpling next, and and carrying on over there in uh, Jamaica. I gotta get with Colas Colas and somebody over there. And have them to send me some flour because I, I don't uh, tell me what it is one. I need to know. Mm -hmm. Curious minds wants to know. I got to know about the flour or how to, you know, because I be watching them. We all want to cook with just about the same ingredients. But I want uh, some of that coconut, some of water on. That'll be getting hot. That coconut, uh, coconut water. I mean, not coconut water. Some of that coconut dumplings you be making. And I'm also, I think, I think the first, I think the first thing that I can make that they make is this, this soup. Because that's just easy to make. I think that's the first thing I'm gonna. And I think uh, I'm gonna follow Miss Miss uh, what her name Miss Little. I follow her too. I think I'm gonna do Miss Little's little recipe. So she a lady, and I just the men not to say just because she a lady, because I like how the men cook too. But I'm a girl, so I'm sticking with the girls. I forget what the other young lady name too. Uh, I like her cooking too. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, y'all. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Like I said, now we just getting ready to cook this foo foo. But like I said, this water got to get hot. It gotta get hot. Like I said, I ain't the best foo foo maker. Cause why? Honey, it takes a strong arm. <laughs> it takes a strong arm. I have to make it in small quantities though. I can do it. Cause ain't, ain't nothing I can't do. Mm. Cause God procreate by myself. Amen. I can do all things. 
Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hey, 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 hey. And I done cleaned up the kitchen and everything. Sure did. And did. I told y'all, baby. Cook and clean as you go, and we ain't got no problems. bring y'all back over here one more time for this finished product so y'all can see I uh, you know so y'all can see what it is that's the pot y'all I can go ahead and cut it off the pot has done what it's gonna do mm -hmm. we there we in there we in there like ragu make sure ain't nothing sticking down here and that is your goosey soup. Mm hmm That is it. Mm, like my uh my my fella uh Jamaican say. That is it. <laughs> I love them. All right. We'll be back when we get ready to make this foo foo. Hey y'all. Welcome back. Y'all, we, we we back for this final step. I went ahead and pulled that foof bag of fufu over in, in my the container, honey. I recycle containers with some great fuse in here. So it'll just be easier to handle for me because I'm turning this thing by myself. And you need a wooden spoon. Okay? Right. You want that water boiling hot. Boiling hot water, y'all. And y'all, this is just, it's like a... It's fine, it's like flour, right? Mm -hmm. I showed y'all what it was. Let me show y'all again. Pounded yam, this is the, the brand that I like, right here. Mm-hmm, yeah, right there. over here so y'all can try to get a glimpse of it y'all it looks like this right but y'all i can't even turn it with one hand i gotta i gotta use both hands but i just want to bring this over here so y'all can kind of get a glimpse of the thickness of it right but you definitely need both hands 
in order to turn it and mold it and let it cook. Right? Mm-hmm. That. Y'all, this is definitely a workout. <laughs> but when I tell y'all, it's worth it. It is worth it. Y'all, it's worth it. And y'all, basically, it's done. Basically, it's done. Bring y'all back one more time. I'm gonna make a ball out my fufu and plate it up and we're gonna sit and eat. So that's your fufu. I mean that's your uh your soup, and that's the fufu. Like I said, I'm gonna make a ball. I'm gonna plate this is the agusi soup that I, we just made together. I'm gonna make a plate, and y'all, I'll be right back. Because we getting ready to what? Get it in. One second. 